Welcome to Dad's CB Radio Corner. Today we're going to show you how to fix a blown final and how to test for it. Today we're going to do a little testing because this radio had a problem and I think it is a uh, final. But we'll find out in a minute. First we got to plug in the meter. Lift that up and see if we get any power. Okay. Well, there. <clears throat> we have a little power. And this one is kind of unique because the microphone is actually the speaker. We got some noise, so we're going to find out if the receive works. But for that, we're going to need another radio. Now we'll turn this on and find out if we have any reception. You can watch the meter here. Well, I guess we better turn that up a little bit. Yep, yeah, that works. Okay. We got some reception, so we know the receive works. Now, let's find out if the transmitter works. And I'll try it the other way. Not getting it. Well, we're getting a little tiny bit here. Hello. We're getting a little tiny bit, but not much. And uh, that would indicate to me that we got a really weak final, so we're going to go in there and replace that. Now we have to get this radio apart to get to that final. So first thing is, in order to get it out of the case, we'll need to remove this microphone. Get that off the side and get it out of the way. We need to get it out of the case. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a microphone sticking out. So we'll deflect that case a little bit. Maybe use a screwdriver, which I happen to have up there. Just gonna pull that right out. There, now we got it out of the way. Time to open up the radio. Need to get the screws off. We'll need to get in here and find out what that looks like. I think they're just tight because it's really not been apart much. It's kind of a new item. There. Oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got the cover off the top. We need to get the cover off the bottom. There we go. All right, and when you take the final out, the one thing you gotta remember is where the B, the C, and the E are, and that's the base, the collector, and the emitter. You can see that right on the bottom here. You wanna keep that straight when you take them out. You can see they got a little bit of uh, Loctite, kind of a glue that they put on there to make sure this doesn't move. So, need a Phillips screwdriver, pliers. Take that out. And be careful not to put too much pressure on that screw because it's only made out of nylon, not made out of metal. And then we remove the nut. And you can see now that the final is loose. So we can take the solder gun and take it out. Okay, now we're going to take some of this extra solder off and put it on a solder braid. And you need something sharp to get under the leg there. So we can lift that up. There we go. Two legs out of there, and we need to get that third one out, but it's got some wires attached to it, so it might be a little tricky. There it comes, okay. Here it comes. Get that wire out of our way, we got to remember to put that back. In. Now we'll turn the radio over and you can see the final right there. It's going to be kind of hot so we're going to use the pliers to pull it out. There we go. Okay, there's the final. We got our final out. That's the old one with the crooked legs. This is the new one with the straight legs. And if you remember right, we had to put all this stuff back. So, 
What we need now is a little bit of grease. And uh, we're gonna put that heat sink grease on the back of this and on the back of the flannel. A little heat sink grease, we'll kind of squeeze that out. so we can put our nut and bolt back in there. Okay, we got that tightened up. Now, turn that over. Get the legs lined up here. And then we'll just bend them over. over and lined up with the old solder points and we gotta remember to put our wire back here and tuck that in and it's time to get the solder ready okay we're ready to lay down some solder we got the solder gun hot want to get the bottom of the board a little warm but not too much so we'll just stick it right on the end of the leg there and apply a little bit of solder everything goes together Pull it up, there's your nice bright solder joint. Now I need to do that two more times. Okay, now we're gonna hook everything back up and see if we've got a final. See if we got one that works. Okay, so we're gonna turn the radio on. Yeah, there you can see it's on. Let's try the transmitter and see if we got the power. Pay attention to the needle here. Transmitting. Okay. Okay, and we got our final replaced and we got the radio working.